hey drummers, how's it going? I hope you're getting plenty of practice in. This week's lesson is gonna focus on the practice pad, because if we haven't got access to our drum kit, at least we can start noodling around on any kind of surface, whether it's a practice pad, a pillow, the floor, your knee, the sole of your shoe, anything like that. This is a great little four measure exercise, sort of made famous by Joe Morello. I tweaked it a tiny bit to suit my playing and to make it a nice four bar sequence, because I love things that add up to four, especially when it comes to drums. And um, it's just a brilliant little exercise to practice the transitions between your singles, your doubles, and your paradiddles. So if you like what you saw in the intro and you want to give this one a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. Okay, so we've got four measures. The first measure is just gonna be made up of eighth notes of your right hand for two beats, and then eighth notes with your left hand for two beats. These are just single strokes. So essentially for the first beat, or the first measure, we're gonna be playing one and two and, and then we swap over to the left, three and four and. Now the purpose of this exercise is to get those quick transitions between these different sticking patterns. Now, because obviously we're focusing on single strokes, doubles, and paradiddles, there's only three there, and if we're doing quick transitions of like one measure each at 16th notes, it's like a three bar sequence. So what we've done is we've just put this little extra measure just to sort of warm up the right hand and then warm up the left hand. And again, you can sort of use this as just sort of like getting little taps in if you want to practice like getting your finger technique down, or if you want to go for some of those more sort of like heavy wrist strokes. It's up to you to so play around the dynamics. Usually, the slower I go, I'll be sort of hitting it a bit harder, practicing those wrist strokes. And then as we get a bit faster, say up to like 180 BPM, I'm gonna be concentrating more on the finger technique. So, measure one, really simple. One and two and three and four and. Easy. Measure two, all we've got is single strokes, 16th notes. So essentially, we're doing exactly the same beach hand, we're just combining them. So, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Right, left, 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 right, left. Now from there, we're gonna seamlessly transition into double strokes. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. We're not changing the speed or the subdivision, so it should sound, well it won't sound the same because you're playing a different sticking pattern, that's the sort of beauty of this, um, but the notes should be the same distance apart. So if we now go through the first three measures, we should have one and two and with the right hand, three and four and with the left hand. Uh, measure two, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, uh, so singles for measure two, and then doubles, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, for bar three, and then we move on to bar four, which is paradiddles, so a nice little hybrid of single and double strokes. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And again, I tend to sort of put a bit of an accent on the downbeat of each beat, so one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And the beautiful thing about paradiddles is it's gonna shift the accent from the right hand to the left hand, from the right hand to the left hand, so both hands get a nice good workout. So the whole sequence from start to finish is one and two and three and four and one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one. And that's it. That's the whole sequence. It's a really nice little exercise to play both fast, slow, with different dynamics. So if you wanted to, you could sort of make each measure like a slight crescendo. You can focus on finger technique if you want to sort of keep everything nice and low to the pad. If you want to sort of raise the volume, sort of go for those more sort of like wrist sort of wrist strikes, if you want to call them that. And you can have a little bit of fun with it. So you can manipulate this idea to cater whatever you want to work on. Um, so have a little bit of fun with it. What I'm going to do now is I'll go through it at 120 BPM, 150, and then 180. And you'll sort of see the sort of change in level of dynamics as I'm playing it. So without further ado, let's dive into demonstration and then I'll come and say goodbye. All right, here we go.
my drummers. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Thank you very much for watching. It's a great little exercise. You don't need a drum kit. You don't even need a practice pad. If you've got some sticks, you can play on any surface. You can play on, you know, your knee, the sofa, pillows, the floor, the sole of your shoe. I've seen quite a few drummers sort of take up their shoe, put it between their legs, and you've got that nice little rubber pad underneath. In fact, you don't even need drumsticks. So even if you've just got your hands and your, and your knees, just slap away because at the end of the day you're going to be learning how to transition some of those sort of like the most important rudiments any drummer can learn so you've got your singles your doubles your proud idols and of course i've just added that little extra bar where you're playing the right 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 left 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 so just sort of playing each hand in isolation does help as well so if you did like the video uh, let me know i've got another one lined up where we go through a similar sort of like sequence except just triplets so that's a lot harder because obviously you're playing like proud idols being a four note pattern over triplets obviously which is three and so you get this nice little sort of the pattern crosses over the beat so it's going to make it a bit more advanced than what we're doing here so um, if you do want that let me know and i'll be happy to do a video on that but i probably will in the future anyway because we've got lots of time and uh, i enjoy making the videos so with that said take care keep drumming and i'll see you soon for some more fun free drumming ideas all right see you later